animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Hurting animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Share their song. And if you call me a donut, that's fine. Vegan what donut. Is your vegan from now on. Gordon Ramsay is such a legend. Welcome back to the new episode of Tremendously Incapable TikTok Stars. I'm your host, Wankly, and we will be discussing about that vegan teacher. Yeah, that one person that mocks every religion, but then proceeds to cry about Islamophobia. She is the definition of a hypocrite. As you have seen in the beginning, Gordon Ramsay, the world's most famous chef, responded to her in the best possible way. It blew up on TikTok, but that's like a week old now and it's not that relevant anymore, right? Seven days later, that vegan teacher still makes videos on Gordon Ramsay. She wants that clout. I mean, it's not like she makes one or two response videos to Gordon? Nah, she makes five responses a day. It's borderline harassment. Cat milk is for baby cats. Dog milk is for baby dogs. Human milk is for baby humans. And cow milk is for Gordon Ramsay. Well, what did I just witness? What the fuck? How old is he? I mean... Let's start off with the fact that the old guy doesn't even look like Gordon Ramsay. It kind of reflects the amount of effort you put in your content, if you can call it that. You actually look way older than Gordon Ramsay. I mean, just looking at you, I thought you were 60. I mean, Google says that she is 56, so I'm pretty close. Gordon Ramsay doesn't look like he is in his 50s at all. He looks really good for his age. Probably because of all the healthy meat he eats. Ooh, again. Again, I have nothing against being vegan. If you want to become a vegan, I respect you. You're trying to improve the world. Just don't force your opinion on others. If you are forcing others to becoming a vegan, like her, here is a message to you. This is the representation what I am doing with your mom. That is apparently controversial. I don't see why it should be. There's nothing in there that I haven't said before. I am against all forms of discrimination, all forms of abuse. That includes, among other things, the circumcision of baby boys. I think it should be banned and I think it should be illegal. And why do you think that? What is wrong with being circumcised? To strap a child down and to remove part of their genitalia just for your own, what, sight pleasure? Sight pleasure. Sight pleasure. The only reason why boys get circumcised is because of sight ple- <sighs> It's just barbaric. We should leave children intact and allow them to do whatever they want with their own bodies when they are of the age of consent. There's no medical reason to circumcise a baby boy. There is no medical reason. Are you a doctor? Are you someone that actually studied everything about the human body? Hmm? No? Did you even do research? You are a teacher for God's sake. Your job is to teach your students about lecture, culture and straight up facts. What is this? The only thing you have shown is how ignorant you are. Please go have an argument with a medical professional, a doctor, a nurse. Let's see how your weak points will stand against them. Go show the world how uninformed you are. I don't see why it should be. Yeah, me neither. Ahem. <clears throat> We really went off topic on this one. Let's get back to reviewing her rant against Gordon Ramsay. Students, we're going to be reviewing the work of Gordon Ramsay, who has 15 million followers here on TikTok. And I'm going to speak to you directly, Gordon. So Gordon, one of the problems that I noticed that you have is you don't seem to understand the difference between food and animals. Just, just a little reminder. Gordon Ramsay has like 22 Michelin stars. I think he has a basic understanding what the difference between food and animals are. So food is something that you get out of the ground or you take it from a tree. It is something that doesn't have feelings and it's something that's very healthy for us to eat. Now animals are alive. They are sentient beings like us like chickens and cows. You know, vegetables and trees are living creatures. Just because they can't express their feelings doesn't mean that they don't live. Vegetables are actually suffering way more than animals do. Some of your vegetables are rotting away in a fridge, freezed to death. Plants are living creatures. Animals are also living creatures. So what's your point? Cows, sheep, pigs, you know, these things are not actually foods. 
so I think you really need a little lesson in sort of remembering about that. Now, surely you learned the animal names when you were younger. So just go back and review that. And from now on, it would be really great if you started to cook actual food. If we follow her for the reasoning, swa swa. What am I doing with my life? An animal that is dead has no feelings, right? It's dead. So we can eat it. It's quite healthy for us to eat meat. Well, not all of them, but some of them do. Mm, it kinda contradicts your point of eating something that is presumably dead. This just shows more how much of a hypocrite she is. Yeah, this was all the time I got for today. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, watch my other videos. I'm still waiting on my Dutch sentence. Okay, here is een zin. Ik kom hard op die beat, net een poepje. Ik heb twee broers en ze eten alle bij mijn koekje. Kom hard op die beat, net een poepje.